Hi, and welcome to The Burrow. In this video, I will show you how you can make a really easy DIY cardboard hideout for your hamster. First, I just drew a shape on a piece of cardboard. You can basically draw anything you want as long as it has a flat bottom and it will be big enough for your hamster. You also want to draw an entrance for your hamster. Um, you also want to make sure that that is big enough so they don't get hurt while they're going through. For dwarves, you'll want at least a 2 inch in entrance. And for Syrians, you'll want at least a 3 inch entrance. start cutting out the front pieces of the hideout. Keep in mind that I am making two different hideouts so that's why there's two front pieces. When you are cutting out the hideout front piece you just want to make sure that there aren't any sharp edges that could potentially scratch your hamster. Um, if there are any sharp corners then you can easily fix that by just rounding out the edge. Now I'm just tracing the front piece to make the back piece. When you're tracing the front piece, you want to try and get it as similar as possible, but just, of course, don't add an entrance. It's okay if it's not absolutely perfect, but just try to make it as close as you can. started painting the cardboard. You can really paint the cardboard however you want, but just make sure you're using non-toxic paint so if your hamster ingests any, then it isn't that big of a deal. Remember that you don't have to be the best painter to paint this, and your hamster doesn't care how it looks at all.
front and back piece of your hideout, you can just get a strip of cardboard and just start bending that until it basically just gets really bendy. want to kind of bend the piece so that it fits around your hideout and is as even as possible at the bottom and you can also change the size so that it fits your hideout a little bit better. Then I just got some non-toxic glue. You can also use something like hot glue but I personally just don't like the look of it. This is kind of the harder part where you just glue the bendy piece to the cardboard by just putting the glue on the edge. And I also did use some tape to hold it down while I was letting it um, dry. But do keep in mind that tape isn't safe for hamsters to chew, so you do want to be able to take it off afterwards. right now there are a lot of books on screen. I was just using this while I was letting them dry. I just put them on their side and I put the books right on top of the hideout to put some weight on it and kind of just to help it stay in form a little bit better while it dried overnight. Finally, after waiting for them to dry overnight, the hideouts were ready for me to take the tape off and that is how you make a DIY hideout for your hamster.